So if you're a roughly new YouTuber out there or we're wondering how much money, you know, am I gonna make starting out on YouTube? The answer is probably I found peace in your vibes. Can't show me there's no point in trying. I'm out of mind. And I've been quiet for so long. So dude. Oh a lot just harm day, baby. Yeah, so my face looks like a meth head right now, but I swear I'm not. To the dome. Old dome. Our Quick swig. At the gym, and they own. Um... And then I, you guys. You took Octane before this too. Just one scoop, yeah. But I thought I was gonna get more of it in the mail today. All right, all right. That's a crate through reverence, or is this radiant eclipse? That's a great Awesome. 30 years. Back at the guy's thing says 30 years, I love you. That's a long time to be married. Hey. I mean, unless he's 30 years old. I'll love you for 30 years. Eight more years. Or actually, seven and some change. What's a really douchey thing to do at the gym? Wear shades. Wearing sunglasses is way douchier. <laughs> I don't know. That guy's a sight. That's worse than sunglasses. <laughs> that's worse than sunglasses. sunglasses. Alright, gang, so we are here at EOS Fitness, one of the very few gyms that are open here in Arizona right now. They are taking social distancing guidelines pretty seriously here. They got a bunch of like disinfectant sprays throughout the gym. Everybody's staying six feet apart and they are limiting the traffic in the gym by posting time slots that you have to sign up for to work out online. So today we signed up for the four o'clock time slot. It's pretty dead. They expanded the gym so there's a lot more equipment, a lot more space here, which is also good for social distancing. But instead of just an arm day today, we are going to be getting after some shoulders as well. Hey, don't tell my hood friends, but I fuck with this song. <laughs> That's a bad thing about me. <laughs> Sanitizing! <laughs> I'm getting over 300 magic XP an hour. You see, if we use the Pythagorean theorem here for this triangle, we're gonna optimize the bicep contraction. Sounds about right. What's good? I'm for you. You look so glorious with this sun set right behind you. It's so hot. You ready to play some OSRS, bro? That's the plan. It's been dead for a month? Yeah. That's so sad. And you guys have just been putting it in this, like, cactus thing? Because it was so pretty. <laughs> Why would you put it in the cactus, though? Where's Obi? Is he not begging for food anymore? There he is. Hey, buddy. CBD dog treats. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Alright YouTube family, so it is the next day and if you guys saw the title of the video, you know exactly what we're about to talk about. I actually got inspired to make this video after watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Brandon Harding. In his video, he basically went through and outlined exactly how much money, how much revenue he makes from making YouTube videos. And I got to thinking that it might be a good idea to make my own version of this video except for a smaller channel of around two to 3,000 subscribers at this current moment. I thought it might be a good idea to put out there to the world how much really does a small YouTube channel make. Obviously, I'm kind of niche. I do like vlogs, fitness stuff, some food challenges and arm wrestling challenges, all those kinds of things. But I thought I'd share with you guys how much revenue I make from YouTube in today's video. So first off, some basic information for you guys. In order to be able to monetize your YouTube videos, you must have at least 1,000 subscribers and over 4,000 hours of watch time on your channel within the last 12 months. So that basically makes it to where very, very small channels aren't eligible to lay ads and monetize their videos. You have to meet that criteria. Basically showing to advertisers that your channel is worth 
promoting. And as I was just alluding to, how you actually make money is by enabling ads on your video. And you can actually make more money the more ads you place throughout your video. You can choose to have YouTube sporadically insert ads throughout your video. And if your video is over 10 minutes, you can actually layer in more ads. And there's a specific dollar amount that's assigned to every thousand views that you acquire. Um, and that is dependent upon what kind of like niche you're in, what kind of videos you're producing, and also what time of the year it is. So for example, you might make more money on your videos from views that are around Christmas time than let's say March, just simply because it's the holiday season and people that are paying for advertisements want to get their advertisements out there so people can go shopping and purchase whatever they're trying to sell through the ad. But now that we've gone through some of the basics, I wanna take you guys through my channel specifically. And as you guys can see, I have my videos uploaded here. This is like a secondary YouTube app. And if we go to analytics here, I can go to revenue and then it'll show me how much revenue I've made in the last 28 days. So as you guys can see, um, I've made $28.88 within the last 28 days. And we can actually refine the search to the last 90 days if we like to see that I've earned $80.43 over the last 90 days of creating content. Now to give you guys some perspective, I'll go back and go to my videos. My videos you know, generate anywhere basically from like two to 500 views on average. Um, every once in a while you'll get one that's kind of like in the higher hundreds or in a couple thousands. And then if we go to my most popular videos, if we um, organize it that way, you'll see that I have a couple videos that are at 31K views, 24K views, 18K views, etc. And those are all still making revenue, still generating views. So all that is contributing to the money that I make monthly. YouTube actually pays out monthly, but they only pay out once you've passed a certain threshold and that threshold is $100. So as you guys saw from the last 28 days, I've made 2888 and that would basically, I would not get a check for this at the end of the month. A couple of months will go by until I've accumulated over $100 at which point they will then send me a check because I have partnered with a certain Google AdSense company, which are paying me to basically overlay my videos with their ads. And another reason why I got inspired to make this video is because I actually did get paid yesterday. It's been a couple months since I've gotten paid and I've gotten paid $125. And what I really wanna hit home with this video is, is that I did not get into the making of YouTube videos um, out of the goal of making money, right? If I would have started creating my YouTube channel with the goal of making money, I would have quit a really long time ago. You know, I really enjoy creating content. I like collaborating with other creators, learning how they make videos, adding elements of their videos into my videos and just being creative. It's a really fun way to express myself and document my life and help other people at the same time. So if you're a roughly new YouTuber out there or we're wondering how much money, you know, am I gonna make starting out on YouTube? The answer is probably nothing. <laughs> for quite some time until you at least, you know, hit a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time on your channel, which is really, you know, hard to accomplish. Um, YouTube is really saturated, but you gotta just put your best self out there, your original self, and allow the right audience to gravitate towards you. And those are the people that you want on your side that are gonna appreciate your content and smash that thumbs up button and help your channel grow. So I've actually been on YouTube since like the beginning of 2016. I believe January 1, 2016 was my first video, but I thought it might be a fun idea to show you guys how much money I've made in this entire time from YouTube. Um, I actually haven't checked this in quite some time. So let's go to lifetime. $730.45. I made $730.45 from the countless hours and hours and hours that I've not only spent filming YouTube videos, but also editing them. So that's not a lot of money. Um, but what I will say is that, like I said, creating content through YouTube has allowed me to document my life. I can look back on memories that I've created with a lot of cool people, with my family and my friends. I've been able to help tons of people, um, not just in the PA world, um, with like helping them get into PA school or giving like my PA school advice, but I've kind of dipped into a little bit of the mental health uh, community and then I've also dipped into other communities just to provide entertainment. So I'm really happy with you know the growth and success my channel has had. I definitely don't think money is a good way for you guys to 
you know, decide if your channel is successful or not. I think, you know, as long as you're reaching somebody out there or you're making yourself happy through the content that you're making, I think you should just keep doing it. So I hope that gives you guys some insight into how much money a channel of my size uh, makes and has made over my whole like career on YouTube. But with that being said, guys, this is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button because it really does help the channel grow. Comment down below if there's anything specific you guys want to see on the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on all future videos. And until next time, friends, this is the way. Yeah.